just wanted to do a quick intro for my DIY that I just completed. So I'm super excited for you guys to see it. These are all awesome projects and I hope you guys will do them. If you do, send me pictures on my Twitter. We'll see you guys after the video. Yeah. Hi guys, so for today's video I am doing my DIY. The first one is a mirror. You're going to need a glue gun, scissors, fake flowers, and a full length mirror or any mirror that you want. The first thing you're going to do is pull the flowers off the stem and they do have a little plastic part on the stem which you want to cut off because you want to make sure that it lays flat on the mirror. While you're gluing this down it really helps if you don't have that little stem on there. But be careful not to cut cl too close to the middle because then the flowers will fall apart. It happened to me a few times and I had no idea. So just continue doing this until you have a huge thing of flowers like I do here and you have the rest of the stems and you can just set those aside or throw them away or do something else. So after your glue gun is heated up, you're going to want to use it and <laughs> of course you're going to use it. Uh, you're just going to put some glue on the back of the flower and you can place and arrange these however you want, any colors that you want. I just chose pink and white because it goes with a lot of stuff that I have in my room and you're just going to continue to do this until you have the flowers that you want. Um, I didn't do the full mirror. You certainly can, but I like the look of just kind of the corners being done, two corners. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Project is a paint chip canvas type wall decoration. Um, I saw this on Pinterest. And it actually is so cute. What you're going to need is paint chips from Home Depot, a cutter, cutout thing, I don't know what they're technically called, some liquid adhesive or glue, and a foam poster board. So what I did is I measured out the poster board so it's even squares. Um, it is a 10, the squares are 10 inches by 10 inches, so I just was measuring those. And what I forgot to add is you're going to need an X-Acto knife to cut this out. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. If you do have a little bit extra money for your budget, you can go to like Walmart and get an actual paint canvas and do this on. But I was just thinking of the most budget-friendly way to do it, and this definitely was that. So I'm just getting my X-Acto knife out of my kit and these are very sharp so make sure that you are very careful with them because they will cut your finger off. I don't know from experience but <laughs> they definitely will. So I'm just cutting it out and I did have to go and turn it over and cut the back side as well. Again with these paint chips you can change the colors of them. You can do colors that will match your room and your bedspread or whatever you want. I just chose blue or blue, green and purple because those are what my room colors are. So then you're going to take your little cutout and I found mine at Hobby Lobby and it was $3 and you're just going to cut those little, little shapes out. You can choose any shape you want, I just chose the hearts. Then you're going to put glue on the back of them after you have a bunch of them and just arrange them in any order or any design that you want. I did a few different designs. This one is just a normal rose with hearts and I actually did an ombre effect on this one. So again, you can change up the colors, the design, you don't have to do hearts and you also don't have to do lines and ombre like I did. You can do any design that you want, you can do chevron. So this is some of the designs that I came up with. I really love the way that they turned out. I think they look so cute. They'll look adorable in my dorm room and I think they were super inexpensive. The next project is a tissue paper garland, which I actually have seen these everywhere, but they're so expensive. 
So what you're going to need is a pack of tissue paper, I got mine at the dollar store, some rope, which I got at Target, scissors, and a hot glue gun, which you already should have because you used it in the other DIY. So I just had to get my tissue paper out. I got this tissue paper for a dollar at the dollar store. No wonder it was only a dollar. And it had a bunch of pastel colors. So you can buy more expensive tissue paper than I did. I just was already at the dollar store, so I thought I would just buy tissue paper there. I do wish that I would have gotten like a metallic tissue paper, because I think that it really would have added a cool element. So, once you have your tissue paper out, you're going to lay it one sheet out flat, and you're going to fold it hot dog way, just once, or I guess lengthwise, and then you're going to fold it again in hamburger style. Then you're going to take the spot where the crease is and make that sure that's the top, as I'm pointing out here. You're going to cut towards that. And when you cut, you only want to leave about an inch to a half of an inch so you have room to twist it. So before the storm is past, I just want to ask, can we make this moment last? So before the storm is past, I just want to ask, can we make this moment last, moment last? So once you're all done cutting, you're going to unravel it and you're going to have to cut it in half. That's where the other fold was. You're just going to cut it so you have two separate ones. The reason you do this is it would be really hard to move it and twist it up. So once you have that half, you're going to lay out the little crinkles and just make sure it's straight and start rolling. Now when you roll, you want to make sure that you don't twist up any of the little strings because they will cause a problem if you just continue to let them go. Um, it'll look really messy and I'm a perfectionist, so <laughs> I wanted to make sure that it looked great. And so that is what you just it's super easy and these look so cute when they're done they add a little boho vibe and again you can change up the colors to match your room as every single one of these projects it's super customizable so now you're just going to twist and once you're done with all of your colors you're going to repeat the steps and you're going to take your string or twine I cut I think about three feet of it and you're just going to put them all on the boat words can't describe this is what it looks like when you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to click that subscribe button and give a thumbs up for more DIYs. Thanks for watching. She looks good in the sundress. With lips are soft that I can't resist. Every day I learn a little more about her. Summertime wouldn't be the same without her. She is brown eyes, tan skin, blue light. Without her I wish we could stay like this forever Miles away from everything we've known There's nothing